Welcome to the Ohio Bureau of Workers' Compensation Division of Safety and Hygiene's Microtraining Series. This session focuses on common numbers to keep in mind when working in and around trenches. 18 inches. 18 inches must always be maintained on both sides of marked underground utility. If there are no dimensions of the utility, you should assume it's 2 inches wide. If a trench box is used in combination with other protective systems, like sloping and benching, the box must extend 18 inches above the vertical part of the excavation walls. This keeps dirt, rocks, and debris from rolling into the trench. 2 feet Everything needs to be back at least 2 feet from the edge of the trench, including spoil pile and materials. Any weight or vibration on the edge of a trench can increase the likelihood of a cave-in. It's best practice to use a visual or retaining device as a reminder of the two feet. The maximum distance between the bottom of the trench box and the bottom of the trench should be no more than two feet. A contractor can excavate up to two feet under a trench box, as long as there's no indication that soil is collapsing behind, below, or into the trench and the shield is rated for the full depth. Three feet. Ladder rungs, grab bars, or extension systems must extend at least three feet above the surface when used for access. This is required so there's something to hold on to while stepping on and off the ladder. Four feet. At a trench depth of four feet, a means of exit must be provided. It can be a ladder, stairway, or ramp, but it must be no more than 25 feet away from any worker inside a trench. Also at 4 feet, if an oxygen-deficient atmosphere is suspected, the trench must be tested before entering. This is a concern near landfills, sewers, or hazardous substances. 5 feet At a depth of 5 feet, there must be a protective system when workers are in the trench. The protective system could be sloping or benching, or an engineered solution such as shoring, a trench box, or shield. An engineered solution is designed by a registered professional engineer. Additionally, a competent person can determine there is a potential for a cave-in at any depth which would require a protective system. Six feet. If a walkway is six feet or more above the lower levels and employees or equipment are allowed to cross over excavations, guardrails meeting the OSHA standard 1926.502B must be in place. 15 feet. A trench is a narrow excavation. A trench is deeper than it is wide and not more than 15 feet wide at the bottom. 20 feet. If excavations are more than 20 feet deep and workers enter, cave-in protection must be designed by a registered professional engineer. 25 feet. Ladders or other means of egress must be no more than 25 feet away from any worker inside a trench once the trench depth is 4 feet or more. This overview for trenching, Know the Numbers, is not meant to be all-inclusive, only a supplement to your company's specific training. If you have specific questions, visit our website at bwc.ohio.gov, click Search, type Safety Consultants, and press Enter. Thank you for making safety a top priority.